my name is Laura Frood. I am the programme manager on the Yardworks Grid project. It's allowed us to work with communities that are directly connected to the site here at SWG3. So working in York Hill, Partick and Govan to do community-based projects, upskilling projects and large-scale public art installations. Uh, it's been fantastic with the community, you know, uh, Govan, Partick. It's kind of a slow burner at the start, you know, but later on I think once they realised what we were doing and how, how many people we were actually engaging with, it started to be almost the talk of the town a little bit, you know. Art, like artworks and art festivals, anything like that, especially in Glasgow's, you know, well overdue. I lived in London for eight to ten years and they've had it like in like East London for years. So it's amazing to see it in, you know, in Glasgow. There's been various different degrees of public engagement in the murals. So, for example, the mural that we just finished in Govan um, that Smug has completed, that is, it picks up on themes that I discovered through a quite in-depth community consultation. So we were trying to find those sort of forgotten or untold stories and represent them in the mural in this really visually beautiful way. Um, other work in Partick, artist Molly Hankinson worked really closely with um, the gay Partick Annex communities. This design was really heavily kind of community uh, orientated and um, I did quite a lot of consultation in the, in the build up to the design, um, which is all the better, I think, because, you know, it's obviously a quite, quite a residential area. Uh, people walking past it every day, it's, it's on the side of, you know, flats as well. So it really had to be um, something that the community were passionate about as well as, as, well as me. Um, and I think we really achieved that. I think everyone um, has been really positive about it. And, and like they have some sort of claim over the design as well. Like they know they can look at that and be like, I was instrumental in, in, in that design, which I think is really cool. I think people are more aware of their environment and they're more aware of kind of um, perhaps wanting to be, um, um, I guess, involved or kind of like as part of it. Um, I think there's such a importance of um, having ownership of space and these kind of shared spaces that are, you know, I think during the pandemic, as we know, like, you know, a lot of person felt really isolated, but, you know, having those spaces that are um, those public spaces, it's, um, yeah, it can kind of elevate and um, kind of promote the well-being of a community and also kind of like help build those kind of um, relations with your neighbours or having that invitation to be involved in a public artwork in your space. Every mural I ever paint, anywhere, right, I'll be painting it and someone will come up and say negative things about the young folk and the young team that are writing on the walls. And I like to remind them that's where I came from. If it wasn't for that bit, then this would never have happened. So technically, you, by you calling them scumbags, then I'm I'm just I'm just the same scumbag. I could use a brush on a wall and no one bats an eyelid, but as soon as the can comes out, then someone complains. And like one of the ones I was doing recently, someone went into the place and complained. Now, like, do you know there's someone out there spray painting your wall? No, like, yep. <laughs> well, and it was huge. Like it's not something you could just do in. 10 minutes, do you know what I mean? I was really kind of inspired by how engaging graffiti practice is for young people who have faced complex need barriers and needs. The stakeholders have told us that it's the most engaged that they've ever seen the kids and that the young folk are leaving those spaces thinking, oh, I could do that. That could be something that I could do and I could earn a living from that. So it's sort of broadening their horizons. It's opening up new career paths, but it's also, um, putting positive role models in front of them. Gaz that runs Yardworks would take me and uh, me and Billy, his son, and our other friends up to the uh, up to the SWG3 to like paint, practice paint and stuff. And um, I was into graffiti. I've been into graffiti for years, but uh, Gaz kind of pointed us in the right direction in terms of like helping us um, see that we could do do it like paint artwork basically and not just uh, not just vandalising and stuff so. Yeah, Yardbox yard going forward, uh, 
you know, we would we would really like to keep on that grid, feel that mural trail, feel and expand in the mural trail. The the future is really about the the, the, the almost what would you say headquarters here at Yardworks where we're, we're building the new studio, which is nearly com under completion now. Um, that is a game changer. Um, so in the spring of 2023, the Yardworks studio will open and that's where we'll base our project out of and that will cater to the needs of the communities that are immediately connected to us, our graffiti and street art community and urban artists as well. Um, so we'll be planning to run out of their engagement projects, upskilling projects, employability offerings as well as well as catering to those more niche needs that we find in the graffiti artists that are relating to, you know, perhaps skills gaps or mental wellbeing and things like that. Most people are super excited about it and the projects that I've worked on with Molly and Alex, everybody's found it really relaxing and I think there's a huge benefit towards mental health that comes with it as well. That and seeing that seeing that like come out of these projects is, is so nice. The Yardworks get a project has been really, really lucky to work with some really amazing communities, individuals, organisations, partners that has, hel has helped us secure permission for sites and things like that. Um, and it wouldn't have worked without them. So we're really, really appreciative of the cooperation and the level of commitment that they've kind of given to helping us to achieve these new sites that hopefully will be enjoyed for years to come.